I actually rode Brava out for a few days here. And so we just gave her a bath in the river and now she's having a vitamin shake. But I've got some sad news to report for for Maria. We lost Maria a couple weeks ago. She was acting strange. She was having a hard time breathing. And it sounded like she had congestion or some kind of um, respiratory virus. And we gave her some shots. You know, the vet came and looked at her. And then you know, a day and a half later, she was gone. So um, we had to take care of her. But uh, it seems like she just laid down, you know. she When we found her, she was just laying down on her side in the grass. Her eyes were closed. And uh, man, I'm just hoping that she didn't suffer too much. That was really what I was concerned with. I was even planning to see about whether it was going to be necessary to put her down so she wasn't uh, continuing to suffer but uh, she went on her own so that was kind of sad but Brava is doing doing well Get her, gave her a vitamin shot this morning Hey, welcome back to the build site. It's been a while since my last video, probably a couple weeks. I'm back out here after three days in Manila. And uh, we've got some uh, progress to report. I'm out here in the, in the backyard and we've been using the excavators to, to clear out the weeds and start working on some of the pruning the fruit trees that we have but this goes continues all the way back probably 500 more meters and then it ends at a little creek back there but this slopes down and what I plan to do is clear all this and leaving just the fruit trees and pruning them because they're in desperate need of, of pruning and here's a look from where I'm standing down here probably you know halfway 500 meters from the from the bluff here's our, our fire we burn a lot a lot of the, the ground foliage and weeds and right here I'm standing in the backyard looking towards the back patio so we did have the uh, metal light engineers come out a few weeks ago and they, they specified how they want the foundation to be prepared and it's quite different from traditional building using concrete hollow block what they've done is uh, built stem walls and in piers on piers so this wall here this is where the bedroom closet and office are and this is a hallway here but they they built the standard piers and footings but the way the metal light wanted it was to use uh, I think they're called stem walls, but as you can see they the stem wall itself is Probably well, four feet and then you have standard footing Up here where I'm pointing now will be the front entrance and I believe that's a stairway to the second level and then where all these guys are standing is going to be the pool. And over behind them will be the kitchen and living uh, living room area, lengthwise. Over here 
they're doing the same thing but uh, everything was on a different level so they started behind me and now they're working on this side to create the footings are in the piers for the vertical columns but they're they're starting to pour the the stem walls for this split level area here here's a shot from a different angle of the vertical columns on the footings and this area here is going to be a electrical room and a safe room that I'm building where they're hammering right now it's going to be a safe room and in front of that I can't re remember there's should be a CR here somewhere it's either on this side or in front of the, the safe room and then I think part of this area here is going to be a breezeway that comes at the you know between the pool and these rooms and then you walk out uh, onto the patio here so we're where I'm showing you now is the patio and there'll be uh, what I wanted was real large glass doors that can be folded or sliding doors I'm not sure which ones we're going to use but it'll all be glass back here and viewing all the way down through the slope of the property this is a view from the front right side of the of the house and where I'm looking I'm looking here at the dirty kitchen and laundry which will be directly behind the regular kitchen and this the kitchen and living room is like an open design it's, it's just gonna be long and uh, you know this this area here will be couch area with TV and then a long a long but narrow dining table and then your center island and uh, stove and everything right here but where that the worker with the yellow shirt is is where the panic room is going to be and a uh, and the electrical closet what I plan to do is run uh, pre-wires for a solar system, but I'm um, not going to purchase the panels right now. But Metalite is going to uh, supply the roof with with that in mind, so it's going to be uh, stronger. So the, the weight of those panels will be accounted for. This is the stem wall on the front and right now they're backfilling this area here with soil. It's unfortunate that we can't get any machinery in here but we're playing whack-a-mole with soil for a while here. But the stem wall here, this comes up to about my waist, almost my waist. And here, this will be the living room area. And right here is the entrance. Right here. And there'll be a powder room, I believe, right here. And then stairs going up to the second floor. And they're stockpiling sand and gravel here, getting ready for a lot of pouring. It's really nice up here when there's a breeze. You know, May and June are the hottest months for us here. When there's a breeze, it's it's beautiful. <laughs> when there's not a breeze, it's stifling hot.
As I take Bravo down the stairs, well, we're not going to go on the stairs, we'll go around the stairs. This is the trail that the pack horses take. There's a little, little mare, female horse. Trying to follow us. Okay, let's go, Bravo. Come on. Look at it. Oh, Bravo. Sometimes you gotta be a little forceful with her. Okay, come on. out near the steps and they're, they're done with their masonry I still don't know if they're gonna stain it I think it would look good light brown and if you haven't seen the, the final episode of the uh, of the deep well this is it Rob is interested in this other horse. This is a pretty horse. I love the color. It's beautiful. It's like a dark cinnamon. Huh. So anyway, the, the uh, deep well is done. And this is how they cap it off. Come on, Brava. Come on. Ooh. That's, that's how they capped it off with cement and right now I'm just running it with my generator the guys will be back they took their machine out to another site and they're gonna come back when we'll get we're gonna have a temporary water tank set up on top and they said they'll come back and help with hooking it up to the temporary tank It's always nice to hear people having fun down here and kids playing in the water. Normally, especially later in the week, families will come down and either do their wash or have a picnic. But you can always hear the kids' voices even up on top of the bluff.